good people we back man it's your boy sticks representing urban legend gaming man back with some more final fantasy 16 hey yeah we picking up right where we left off man we're just gonna go ahead and jump right into it you going after the stardust then are you which one of these two lucky souls is going with you Gav, you're with me. All right, then. So, uh, where do we find this stardust stuff? There's a river that runs through the southern reaches of the Velcroy. It's the black sand that washes up on its banks that you're after. Southern reaches of the Velcroy, eh? That's down past Alamil. I'll go and scout the place out. See about hiring us a wagon to bring the stuff back to. All right. I'll meet you by the river. While you're off having a paddle, I'll pick up the rest of this stuff from Blackthorn Supply. Take care. You too, eh? Don't go letting him fleece ya. Fleece me? I like to see him try. <laughs> In your own time. All right, so we'll bang this out when we come back. Uh... Yeah, when we come back, we'll go ahead and proceed. Yeah, we'll go ahead and proceed with the uh, like side missions and stuff like that. Um, Cause it looks like we got a we got a little bit of side missions to go uh, to go ahead and hit. Looks like I found the river. Now where's Gav? Oh, is uh, Jill with me? Oh, Jill not with me. Sorry to keep you, Gav. Better late than never. I've had a quick scout about, and I reckon round here's our best bet if we want to grab as much of this stardust stuff as we can. Don't know what Blackthorn's planning to do with it, though. I asked over in Dalamil, and they seem to think it was worthless. But if stardust is what Blackthorn wants, stardust is what he'll get. There's plenty of this stuff lying about just begging to be bagged. Then let's get bagging, shall we? We shall. Race ya. Race So this is Stardust. Just looks like black sand to me. Yo, you just gotta turn around and and look at it, man, like getting on like I'm already finished like of course you are you finished how much did you get enough Oh, 
Oh, you win. That might even be enough for all Blackthorn. Here, uh, before we go, do you mind if we have a chat? Oh boy. Feels like ages since we had the chance to talk. You know, man to man like. It does, doesn't it? Back when you first took Sid's name, we were talking all the time. Working out what to do in that. <laughs> there was a lot to work out. And there still is. Those shoulders of yours starting to feel the strain. Hardly ever see you around the hideaway nowadays. Always on some errand or other. You can take a day off, you know. Or well, says the man who spends most of his time behind enemy lines. Only because you keep sending me there. I know I can count on you, Gav. Likewise. So you keep sending me wherever you need to, and I'll keep going. Safe in the knowledge that I have a home to come back to. Thanks to you. Right. That's enough soppy shite for one day. We'd better get this lot back to Blackthorn before he slings his hammer at someone. You go on ahead. And try to get some rest once you're there. Oh, I plan to. Believe you me. After Blackthorn gets what he needs, of course. Right. Ready to go home, boy? As well, all right. Let's go ahead and hit. Oh man! Yeah, we'll just go back. Um, cause what I'm gonna do? Yeah, we'll just go back, and then then we'll come back and knock those uh and knock those out. Let's hope this is all Blackthorn needs. Thorn. Got everything you need. Yeah. Yeah, I do. Cheers for the stardust. Should be enough to be getting on with. We should go out on maneuvers together more often. Your beats sneaking around on your tud all the time. <laughs> I'll make a start on putting this firm all plating together then. It'll take some time, mind. So if you've got other things to be getting on with, I could do without you breathing down my neck. Thank you, Blackthorn. I'll let Mid know construction's underway. Alright, so that's good. Um... Suppose we'd better be getting back to work, too. Give us a shout if you need anything. So we back. Sorry about that. Um, it's probably like a weird little uh, <laughs> cut there. We see mid. We'll knock out those those other things uh, that we've seen. So 
this way we can kind of like kill those and then go see mid and then go forward Seeing troops amassing at every point. No surprises there. Welcome to the Patron's Whisper. Your benefactors are a generous lot. All yours. Oh, nice. All done? Got a couple couple of those. How are you doing? How are you Anything doing? Anything catch your eye? Alright, so great for justice. Alright, so we'll do. Alright, so. Always we'll... something in there. Alright, so we'll do those first. This one first, and then we'll do the other one, and then we should be good. <laughs> good day to you. Oh, we got. Uh, I ain't see this dude in a minute. Your timing is exquisite, as always. I have a concern which you may be able to assist me with. Go on. There are whisperings afoot of shadowy figures having been sighted outside the village. Rustlings in the undergrowth, suspicious noises. My people fear that they are being watched. It may be no more than a surfeit of nerves, understandable in the current climate, or... It may be the prelude to something altogether more dangerous. Given what I hope you'll forgive me calling your nose for trouble, I wondered if you might investigate. Of course. <laughs> Excellent. You might begin by speaking with the good citizens of Lostwing. Listen to their tales and make what you will of them. All right. I will. Listen to their tales. Okay, alright, so it's probably way about to hear like mad craziness. Right. Let's see what the people of the village have to say. I'd better find out if this is just nerves or something we need to take more seriously. You alright, Sid? Something on your mind? There is actually. Can I ask you something? Quentin tells me people have mentioned shadowy figures out in the woods. Have you noticed anything unusual? Oh, that. No, sorry, can't help you. I heard the rumors, mind, from the lads working over at the vineyard, but none of them have seen anything either. All right. Thanks anyway. <laughs> Listen to their tales. Do you have a moment? There's talk of suspicious figures in the woods. Have you seen anything out of the ordinary? No, but I've heard something. Sound a scraping metal, like someone sharpening a sword. Where was this? In Lorbert's Pass. Was out foraging for herbs when I heard it. Screeching out from between the trees. <laughs> Ran back here as quick as my legs would carry me. And I ain't been back since. I see. I'll look into it. Thank you. Oh. So we don't Seems have to... pass is our best bet then. What do you say, Toggle? Shall we go and investigate? Toggle. Sick him, Toggle! Oh, we 
should be able to just run over there. It's not that far. I was gonna call it Chuck a bow, but yeah, it's not that far. You there? Fuck! He's seen us. What? Get them before they escape. Black shields. Here. What the hell are you doing here? What is it to you? Not that we give a damn. All that matters to us is that you don't leave here alive. This one. Get him. Fast show over there. She is again. Let's do it. <clears throat> yeah, might as well just fast travel instead of running back. Good day to you. How goes the hunt for our sinister figures? I found some black shields hiding near Lorbert's Pass. They're gone now. Black shields. The Empress's former bloodhounds. Though they serve another master now. One who means to root out and destroy both me and those I care for. And it would appear wow. the pack has finally caught the scent of its prey. Damn it all. I had hoped I would have more time than this. More time to prepare. But if we are cornered, we have no choice but to bite back. And bite back we shall. I'm sorry. You're going to need to explain. Who did the Black Shield serve now? And why would that person want you dead? Because I want him dead. Wow. Ooh. The former Lord Chief Justice of Sanbrek. All that I have built here is for him. I don't understand. Why him? Why Lostwing? I suppose it is better that you know the truth. I was a member of the judiciary once. So sickened was I by the injustice of this world, I swore to fight it. And fight it I did in my own small way. I saw more than a few corrupt officials condemned to the very cells into which they had thrown blameless innocence. Men to whom the law was but a scourge to turn against the powerless. And throughout, it was the Lord Chief Justice who backed me, who was my one true ally in the quest to see justice done. So what changed? I discovered that he hunted bearers for sport. I was a fool to think he shared my hatred of venality and vice. His support for me was no more than a facade, a means of ridding himself of his rivals, a mask to hide the rot beneath. I filed suit against him immediately. His response, however, 
was rather more visceral. He had my entire family slaughtered, and he faced no punishment whatsoever. I lost everything. My loved ones, my livelihood, my position, the faith I had once held that any modicum of justice might be achieved through the courts. So I set about enacting my own. I tracked down every soul who served him and slit their throats myself. But the man himself proved an altogether more difficult target. With money and power come protection. And so I saw that I would need an army of my own. Oh, this dude is a demon. I came here to Lost Wing and began recruiting like-minded individuals. And everyone here knows this is why you do what you do. Of course. They too have lost loved ones to the bearer hunts. Seen faultless friends sent to the gallows to spare the guilty. All under the watchful eye of the Lord Chief Justice. Our wounds wow. are the same. And our cause is the same. We are comrades. And our revenge is already in motion. Damn. We know where he hides, how numerous and well trained his guard. What we did not know until now, however, was that his plans may already be in motion too. Quinton. Our time is short. He may move against us at any moment, unless we move against him first. Wow. My friends and comrades, it begins. Make ready for war. Mm. Kills crazy. to change his mind damn dog yo that's just wow bro what can I interest you in today nothing just saying what you have keep fighting the good fight um, yeah about that all right so we just gonna go ahead and knock this knock this one out and then we'll head back probably cut the video uh cut the video short uh after that um yeah the finest fabric the most fragrant herbs and spices gone just like that and without so much as a bar your leave what's the matter uh, oh it, it's my apprentice he up and vanished while my back was turned I'd go and look for him myself, but I've got a bakery to run. A bakery that's now short, one pair of hands. Loath though I am to rely on the kindness of strangers, I'm at a loss. Please, will you see if you can find him? I'll see what I can do. Mm. Do you know where he might have gone? Ah, I wouldn't be surprised if he was off somewhere mooning at Drake's Fang. Yeah. He used to work there, you see. Poor fool left his heart in its hollow. All right. Then that's where I'll start. Damn, 500. Fast travel to that. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, shit. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. My blade yet comes, so do I. Come, let us feast on your flesh. Your feasting days are over.
shit. Yo, he was just standing there waiting for us. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I didn't wasn't expecting to fight him. Those who kill for sport deserve no better. Jesus. It's got to be one of those things where we like searching around. Excuse me. What do you want? The baker sent me to find you. I am a sorry, selfish sod, aren't I? It's certainly not a baker. Master must rue the day he took me in. That rude the time day. was the sight of the fang used to calm my nerves. But now look at her. I take it you miss the mother crystal. I hated her, but she was all I knew. Worked her minds for years. And when she shattered, part of me shattered with her. I had to trade my pickaxe for a rolling pin, but I'm no good at baking. Every loaf I touch collapses. My bread's as hollow as I am. She was the only thing that could fill the hole inside me. Oh, I loved her, damn it. But now she's gone. She's never coming back. What am I supposed to do? I ask her. How does a shell of a man learn to live again? Uh, let's see. Express yourself. Remember the good times. Focus on your work. Yeah. Try to remember the good times. Do that, and the Mother Crystal will be with you no matter where you are. Even in the bakery? What a fool I've been. Thank you, my friend. Thank you. You've opened my eyes. I have to get back there right away. Farewell. Wait. <laughs> Suppose you won't be needing an escort then. Probably not. Probably, yeah, shoot. He, he made it all the way out here by himself. Shoot. The finest 
most fragrant herbs and spices. Ah, there you are. The man who lit a fire under my wayward apprentice. <laughs> Though I worry you might have stoked the flames a little too high. He damn near ran me down trying to get to my oven. Master, it's ready. Behold the Drake's Balm. A truly unique creation. I dare say it is. <laughs> Just look at it. A perfect likeness of the Fang herself. Her steeple peaks, her fulsom spurs, her inviting hollow. True, my loaves collapse more often than not, but what's the <laughs> Fang without her crater? Why, no Fang at all. And look, inside. She's filled to bursting with a bounty of beautiful crystals. Salt crystals! Master, I have found my purpose. I must use my work here to preserve the memory of the Fang. Uh, well, if it tastes half as unique as it looks, I'd certainly say you're on to something. <laughs> Uh, not only is my apprentice back, but he's finally pulling his weight with any luck. I might even have a new delicacy on my hands. I don't know how you did it, but you have my thanks. Alright. Alright. Now, Dusan, I know you're keen, but do... So we good to go. Uh, then we're gonna go ahead and head back. I believe that's uh, at least all of the side missions that we gotta do right now. So I'm gonna head back. Uh, I guess I wanna say I don't know. Talking to that guy that gave me those missions or that had the missions on his um, item list gives you anything. Seeing troops amassing at every border. Yeah, nah, he, he don't give me anything. Alright. So we'll talk to mid. Then uh, after we talk to mid, we'll probably, uh. Before we do the next thing, I'll, we'll probably just end it there. Get some rest. And be ready to go. You'll be pleased to hear that Blackthorn started work on the plating. Excellent. One down, two to go. So, what's next? The helm, of course. For this, we'll be repurposing fallen scrap. Salvage from the ruins? I thought that material was all but impossible to work. Ah, but we don't have to. I'm sorry. Just so happens there's one particular ruin that's broken into exactly the right shape and size pieces for what we need. Wow. What's the name back there? I'll give you all details. What's the name? What's the name? Right. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, Sid, is this about the helm? Uh, yes. Mid said I should speak with you. I'll show you the plans then. Here you see the Mithril engine in which Mithril is burned to generate heat. That heat is then harnessed to produce motive force. <laughs> Excess is heat is dealt with by means of the thermal displacement stack, which disperses it into the surrounding air. Now, were we to rely on thermal plating alone to achieve this effect, the rate of excess heat buildup would far exceed the displacement coefficient of the plating. In other words, the reactor would overheat and eventually explode. This is where the helm comes in. It connects to the plating, you see, and serves as a sort of thermal sink to absorb all that excess energy. Our experiments have shown that fallen ceramics are remarkably thermophilic. They can withstand and absorb levels of heat far above anything we are able to make today. And, not only that, they're also waterproof and immune to rust, making them the perfect material for our protective hood. Why, 
If sea or rainwater were to enter the reactor proper, it would vaporize instantly. The forces produced would tear the ship from stern to... You can stop there. I understand. Mid said we might be able to use parts of a fallen ruin. Where would I find it? Ah, yes. It's in Lorbert's Pass, near Lostwing. The thing is, well, I probably should have arranged to have the pieces we need brought here sooner. You see, a certain unwanted visitor has taken up residence there. It's no longer a matter of just walking in and taking them. It's, um, going to be considerably more dangerous than that. I see. Then I suppose I'd better deal with this unwanted visitor for you. Would that help? Oh, very much. Thank you, Sid. I'll gather my team and head there right away. We'll meet you outside the ruins. Alright, so what we'll do, uh, we'll go ahead and drop off right here, man. Again, I appreciate you guys, man. Definitely coming through, checking on some Final Fantasy 16. It's been greatly uh, appreciated, man. You guys are the MVPs of the channel. Um, also, too, man, if you guys are new to the channel, definitely go ahead and like the video. Drop a comment in the video uh, on the video as well. Definitely uh, love to talk to you guys in the, uh, in the comment section. Uh, so this way we can go ahead and uh, yeah, find out the next moves for everything, bro. Like yo, like like what you liking in the game, man? Did what did you do different in the game? Anything like that, man? Just let me definitely let me know in the comments, man. I appreciate you guys. Definitely subscribe to the channel if you're new. Uh, ding the bell to turn the notification bell on. Uh, turn the notifications on. Uh, so this way we can go ahead and get you guys notified when these videos drop, man. It's greatly appreciated. Salute to those that do it. I'm going to catch you guys in the next one. Until then, always be legendary.